Oh, howdy all, grab yourself a beer, it's time for some Path of Exile discussion. Today, going to continue a series on some of the most popular and powerful endgame unique items in the game, uh, and we're going to be looking today at Inspired Learning. There are three very, very, very rare Drop Anywhere unique jewels. One of them I've already covered in this series, uh, that's Unnatural Instinct. Uh, one of them is very build specific, and that is Unending Hunger, which is, uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with it, uh, it grants your spectres a chance to gain Soul Leader. Uh, and the third one is Inspired Learning. These are very powerful jewels, uh, and they're also ones, uh, at least with Inspired Learning and Unnatural Instinct, they can be very good on a wide variety of builds. So, with four notables allocated in radius, when you kill a rare monster, you gain one of its modifiers for 20 seconds. So, uh, the reason that this is strong, very similar to Headhunter, is that the modifiers that rare monsters get are considerably stronger than comparable effects that players have access to. So, for instance, players have access to the Aura Haste and the Val Aura Val Haste. Uh, monsters, on the other hand, have a 50% increase to attack speed, cast speed, and movement speed. And that's the monster version of Haste. Uh, likewise, there's monster versions of increased physical damage, there's monster versions of the Precision Aura, uh, lots of things like that. Uh, those are all really strong, but some of the generic mods as well can be really good, like gain 10% of your uh, max maximum hit points as energy shield, and this stacks with itself. So basically, gaining additional uh, copies, uh, gaining additional mods is a really significant thing because the mods are so strong. In modern Path of Exile, uh, you can often kill 15 or 20 rare monsters per 20 seconds as well, uh, and that means that you can have a massive amount of these mods. Lastly, Inspired Learning stacks with itself, and it stacks with Headhunter. If you're wearing a Headhunter, you gain all of the mods on that rare monster when you kill it from the Headhunter, but then additionally Inspired Learning will grant you an, a, a second copy of one of them. Uh, not all of them stack, but uh, most of them do. So, whereabouts do you socket this on the passive tree? There are six locations it can fit, uh, i.e. six that have four pa uh, notable passives in range. So, the first one of them is over in the Templar area, uh, and here is actually a very good choice. You can get Overcharge, you can get Faith and Steel, you can get Devotion, and you can get Endurance. The thing I like about this is that all of these are pretty good general purpose uh, modifiers, so it's not like you're going to be forced into taking a lot of wasted points to power Inspired Learning. Make no, uh, make no mistake about it, using Inspired Learning, the jewel is so strong that it is okay to waste a few points to fit it in, uh, but if you're using it here, it's not like you really are wasting those points. Uh, maybe they're not maybe they're not passives you would otherwise have uh, fully gotten a benefit out of. Maybe you wouldn't have taken them otherwise. But with the Inspired Learning, you can do so. Uh, next up is one around the Witch. Uh, and so just where I've got Primordial Eminence socketed here. Uh, lots of choices here. The, the reason I don't usually like this spot all that much is that a lot of the various uh, various uh, notables within range don't synergize with each other. So, you know, you've got something that's uh, hex related, you've got something that is herald related, you've got something that's power charge related, you've got something that is spell block related. Uh, and I think you also get prodigal perfection in there as well. So these, there's a number of quite powerful uh, notables within range, but they don't have that much synergy with each other. By all means, use it here if you can do so without wasting a lot of points, uh, but you'll probably find that the Templar slot is better if you're near it, and so will be some of the other ones. Uh, the last one is, uh, that I'll t touch on first before we go to three that are near each other is another really good spot, and that is the Duelist location. Uh, I was about to call it the Champion location because uh, Champions at the time I'm recording this are so so much better than the other ascendancies for uh, the duelist. But, uh, so the duelist ascendancy, uh, you can pick up the, you can get credit for the endurance charge, you get credit for the mana mod, which is sort of more marginal. Uh, you got access to adamant, which is surprisingly better than it looks. Uh, you got golem's blood, which is one of the best nodes in this area of the passive tree anyway. Uh, and cloth and chain and, uh, and dirty techniques roll out your, sort of round out your choices. Lots of good choices here. Uh, and so this is a popular location. Now, however, we get to the really interesting spot where there are three uh, possible spots for it that are all close to each other. So, somewhere between the uh, between the shadow and the ranger on the passive tree, we have this node first, uh, which has access to Thrill Seeker, Unstable Munitions, uh, Method to the Madness, and Charisma. Uh, this is probably the, the single worst spot on the passive tree for Inspired Learning. 
Uh, there's a lot of points that you need to invest in order to get inspired learning to work here. Uh, and they don't really synergize with each other. So mentioning this for completeness because you can use it, uh, but it is the worst of the spots on the tree. Then we have the good ones. Uh, this basic dual socket here can connect to fervor, to herbalism, uh, to acuity, to heart seeker, and to survivalist. Every single one of those nodes is good. Every single one of them is something you might even be taking without inspired learning. Uh, but when you've got inspired learning, they get even better, 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 better. Uh, and not quite as good. You've got the spot near the shadow where you got access to mind drinker, soul thief, uh, blood drinker, and frenetic. Uh, you'll probably find that there's a little bit of wastage in some of these points, uh, but they're not total rubbish. So, you know, for instance, blood drinker has the increased maximum life, which is good for almost every build. And then attack damage leached as life, which may well be wasted. So those are the six different locations on the passive tree that you can make inspired learning work. Uh, the key, th key thing to keep in mind is that you can use the same jewel in multiple spots. So, how do you go about sourcing this item? I've already mentioned that it is one of the rarest drop anywhere unique jewels in the game. Uh, there are two divination cards for it. One of them uh, drops from Drox the Warlord. I think it's called the Strategist. This gives you a corrupted inspired learning, so it will have one Val implicit corruption on it. Uh, this is the more powerful of the options uh, for farming, for self-farming it, but also just completely not an option if you're playing in solo self-found. So that's ex exclusive to trade leagues. Uh, it's really, it's a really good card to pick up, but you should just see it as like a currency injection when you get lucky after killing Drox. Uh, sort of like getting a Warlord's Exalted Orb from him. It's like it's this sort of big extra bonus that you got for a boss you were going to kill anyway. Uh, on the other hand, there is a divination card called the Academic. Uh, there's not actually any absolute proof of where this drops. Uh, there's a lot of people who think they've had it drop in Academy, uh, and I personally believe that I've had it drop in Academy, but I wasn't actually looking for it at the time, so I'm not absolutely certain of that. So there's a lot of speculation that that card drops from the Academy map, but this is not absolutely certain. Uh, the thing that's really important though, if you are turning in the divination card uh, that comes from Drox that gives you a corrupted one, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you level a character specifically for it and you turn it in between level 33 and level 40. The reason, uh, so that is 33 through 39 inclusive. The reason for that is that the best Val Implicit you can get on an Inspired Learning is you are immune to Corrupted Blood, uh, and that has a minimum requirement, minimum item level requirement of 33. Uh, however, new Corruptions enter the pool of possible options uh, from 40 and up. So this Inspired Learning you see here is item level 85 because it's dropped for someone else in a, uh, I believe they got it from a Maven 10-way boss fight. Uh, but that's one way you can get it. But if you are turning in the divination cards, make sure that you do it in an item uh, in, on a character that is level 33 through 39. The item level of the jewel will match the item level of the character that you turn it in on with a maximum of 80. Uh, and so you will then have the best chance, should you decide to vile it, if you're turning in the academic. But if you're turning in uh, the strategist, it will already be vile. Uh, you'll have the best chance of getting the corrupting blood implicit. Uh, it is something that a lot of people who like playing around in Path of Exile's economy do at League Start. Uh, they buy a bunch of copies of the Strategist and then just a level one character up, turn them all in. The ones that end up uh, hitting an undesirable Vial Implicit, they try and sell for the cost of the cards back. And the ones that hit Corrupting Blood, they try and sell for a massive markup. And this is something that a lot of people do and make quite a bit of currency on. Anyways, uh, that's Inspired Learning for you. Uh, it's an extremely strong jewel, and I highly recommend playing around with it if you never have, uh, but keep in mind that it is all about that clear speed. Uh, fitting Inspired Learning onto a jewel will give you a tremendous boost to clear speed, but it will come at the cost of sabotaging your performance against bosses. Uh, this is because you are undoubtedly taking passive nodes you otherwise wouldn't, and you're socketing Inspired Learning in uh, in a jewel slot that you would otherwise have something more effective on bosses, like just a typical Abyss jewel or a typical Crit multi jewel. Uh, so it's not without its costs, uh, but it is one of the most powerful and popular jewels in the game for a very good reason. I'll leave it there. May your Valorbs have interesting results.